Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in. I uh, just finished up a project at the house. I installed an antenna on my roof to pick up some over the air channels. I had about 12 feet of leftover cable that I wanted to shorten. So I picked up this Black Web Universal Compression Toolkit at Walmart. It's only 15 bucks. So I figured I'd go ahead and uh, give it a try. I didn't have any tools for this particular project. So I'll give this a whirl and let you know what I think. All right, so real simple. It's got two tools and about 20 connectors in the box and a set of instructions. This first tool is gonna to be what you would use to cut the, the cable. Um, you can open it up, it's got two blades in there. And basically what you'll do is clamp that down over the cable and the two blades will cut into the sheathing. You'll be able to spin it around and trim it. And then you've got your compression tool kit. Basically you'll just put the, uh, the, the cable end in there once it's attached to the cable and then you'll give it a little crimp. Just take this in here, just kind of show you how it would fit, but uh, you won't want to use this tool until the cable's actually in place. And then you're gonna have your 20 connectors. Um, probably won't need all those. I'm only gonna use a couple, but just in case. All right, guys, on the right are the tips that come with the kit. On the left, I used a quad shield cable for my project, so I had to pick up the different quad shield tip. Um, Works the same way, but either way, I'll, uh, on the right, it's the one we're going to be using, the one that came with the kit. So I'll show you how to connect those real fast. All right, so what I've got here is some basic RG6 cable, um, not the quad shield like I had. This kit will work perfect if you don't have quad shield. Um, either way, you just clamp this right over the cable and then start spinning. Uh, while you're doing this, that's basically cutting into the sheathing. It's going to make it easier to pull off. You just slide it right off. It should cut the tip off here. I may have the setting slightly off. It's got some adjustments, but what I'll do in this case is uh, probably just go ahead and take a little knife here and score around the edge. And it's already disconnected for the most part, but this will just kind of help pop it right off. There we go. And there's gonna be some little wires showing through here. So you just wanna kind of push them back out of your way. Um, you don't have to cut them, you can if you want. And then take your sleeve. Make sure it's flush. You can see it's not quite all the way over. Push it in as far as you can. That's perfect. You can see the white part of the, the cord there. And then now we'll move on to our crimper tool. It's pretty simple. This will slide right into the slot there. Push it in. And all you're gonna do is just give this thing a good squeeze. And it's basically just gonna make this a permanent attachment. You can always pull it off with pliers if you messed it up or needed to, but it's going to secure it on there and now you're ready to install. All right, for those of you out there that are working with a quad shield cables like I am, you'll need to pick up um, some extra sleeves. I've got these at Lowe's for right at $10. Um, these are going to work with the same tool set, but they're actually going to fit over the quad shield cables quite a bit easier. Um, this toolkit will cut through your quad shield, but again, you just need to get these different sleeves. All right, so what can I say? Uh, all in all, it was a pretty solid toolkit. It did what I needed to do other than the sleeves that it came with didn't fit my quad shield. No biggie, I picked up some extras, but the tools themselves work perfectly um, for something I'm probably only gonna use once, maybe twice ever. Uh, I'd rather spend 15 bucks than whatever it may cost to buy these tools individually. I'm sure it's quite expensive. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned, I'll be posting some more stuff. I'm also gonna be including a video of my uh, outdoor antenna install. All right, take care.